Hello everybody, Wolfpack here with Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS World MI24P Hind video, we will be reviewing the trim settings in the MI24 and discussing the new micro switch options that came out with the latest open beta. In real life, the Hind cyclic is held in place by magnetic brakes. Therefore, when the aircraft is trimmed, the cyclic will stay in that new position. Most flight sticks for flight simulators have springs that automatically return the joystick back to center. Due to this difference in hardware, it makes simulating trim in helicopter simulators rather tricky. The MI24 in DCS World has three trimmer modes in the special settings that you can choose from. Instant trim, central position trimmer mode, and joystick without springs. The anti-torque pedals have trimmer modes 1 and 2 instant trim and central position trimmer mode respectively. Let's hop into the cockpit of the MI24 and check out these options. Here we are in the cockpit of the MI24 P Hind and we have it in relatively level flight. Let's go ahead and bring up our control menu with right control enter and we can see the red diamond here is my cyclic and down below that little line is my anti-torque pedals that I'm currently moving. So we are going to depress our trim button. By default, it is the T key. You will hear a click and then our virtual center will shift to that new position. So T, and if you caught that, we kind of jolted a little bit. And that is one of the quirks with the instant trimmer mode. If you do not return your physical joystick back to center quick enough, your input will essentially be doubled. This is due to the fact that you set a new central position on the virtual axis, but your physical stick is still pushed forward. It is one of the quirks of the instant trimmer mode. Next up, we will be checking out the central position trimmer mode. Now, this trimmer mode will disable all axis inputs from your physical controller until you return that controller to the central position. So let's go ahead and try it out. We can see my cyclic position in the top left hand corner there. Let's go ahead and press the trim button. I'm moving my stick around physically, not that you can see it, but once I return it back to the neutral position, I have regained control. So this can definitely be much smoother and will help you avoid those dramatic maneuvers when trimming. The issue, of course, being you have to return your stick to neutral to regain control of the aircraft. It should also be mentioned that these two options are available for the anti-torque pedals as well. The third option here is joystick without springs. This is for users who have removed the springs in their joysticks or have a force feedback stick. It should be noted that if DCS World detects a force feedback stick, all of the other trim options will automatically be overridden, even if you have not changed your settings here. Next, we will be discussing the anti-torque pedals in the MI24P Hind and the new options that just came with the latest open beta that affect them. The MI24P Hind has a micro switch that is engaged when the pilot adjusts their anti-torque pedals. This micro switch is there to put the Heinz autopilot in standby or adjustment mode. This way, the autopilot system is not fighting the pilot as they try to make adjustments. The autopilot will automatically be re-engaged once the micro switch is disengaged. Let's check out the micro switch in action on real MI24 anti-torque pedals. As you can see, the micro switch is engaged with very minor movements. The pilots can engage the micro switch without moving the pedals, but the pedals cannot be moved without engaging the micro switch. Additionally, the Heinz anti-torque pedals are connected to a dampener system, the SDV-5000. That is there to protect the tail rotor transmission drive shaft from overload. There is also a dampener for the yaw autopilot that is always on if you have the yaw channel on. The micro switch does not affect that dampening system. The micro switch only affects the heading hold logic of the autopilot. In the previous builds, the micro switch was automatically engaged when moving the pedals from the neutral position. Now, there are a few more options. The first option is disable by setting pedal axis to neutral. 
This option is essentially how it was before. The micro switch is enabled when moving the pedals away from the neutral position and disengaged when returned back to the neutral position. One of the new options with the latest open beta is to enable the micro switch only when the axis is moving. This way, you can have the micro switch be disabled when your pedals are not in the neutral position. When there is no movement on the axis, the micro switch is disengaged. The third option is called automatic micro switch off. This completely disables the micro switch interaction with your physical pedals and instead is bound to a button. The default key for this is Y. I should also mention that the automatic micro switch settings will work in conjunction with the manual button bind. You do not need to disable the automatic settings to use the manual button. The last group of options here is the pedals trimmer button. The first option is the cyclic trim button. This will automatically trim your pedals whenever you press the button that also trims your cyclic. Unlike the MI-8 helicopter, where the trim button on the cyclic affects the pedals, in the real MI-24, the trim button on the cyclic does not affect the pedals. This option is there for convenience and player preference. The second option is the pedals micro switch button. This option allows you to trim your anti-torque pedals separately from your cyclic on a separate button. Well folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and hopefully you found it useful. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.